this is the second chapter in your in your ncrt book so we will start with relations and functions uh, see relations and functions the the prerequisite for this chapter is set theory set theory we have already completed i have only taught you all the concepts related to set theory so now first thing in relations and chapter uh, relations and functions is cartesian product of sets Okay. Let's say let A and B be two non-empty sets. Okay. Then A cross B Cartesian product of the sets A and B is defined as A cross B. A cross B is what you have to write all the ordered pairs such that this is all the ordered pairs x comma y such that now now you are very much comfortable with the notation of the set set is equal to this braces means set of all x y such that this is first element first element should belong to A the first element x should belongs to the first element here A. and the second element second letter is b means the second set is b so the second element y should belongs to b set of all x y such that x belongs to a and y belongs to b all possible such combinations that you that you can get make their ordered pairs and the together uh, collection will be called as the cartesian product a cross b if consider if i tell you to consider an example let's say A is equals to one comma two, and let's say B is equals to P comma K. Okay, this is the first example. So what will A cross B will be equal to? A cross B B will be equal to. We have to take all ordered pairs. So I am telling you A cross B. So first in the ordered pair, first element will be of A, and the second element. Will be of the B. So the first element one, one can be paired up with P, one can be paired up with Q. These are two separate elements. Okay, one comma P together is one single element. One comma Q together is one single element. I can also pair two comma P. I can also get two comma Q. these are the four elements you combine all the four elements and put the, all the four elements in one bag and that bag is the collection that bag is the total collection means the set of a cross b is the cartesian product clear so in this in the if i tell you to write b cross a can you tell me how, what b cross a will look like Now B cross A will be P comma like, one. Yeah, P comma one. The first element, the first element. Now first elements belongs to the first set, the ordered pair. Ordered pair. First element of the ordered pair should be of first set. Second element of the ordered pair should be of second set. So now here B cross A, B cross A will be P comma one, Q comma one. P comma two combined is another element. Q comma two combined is another element. So these total four elements. Okay, this is A cross B and this is B cross C. Can you observe that here? Observe. A cross B and B cross A. They are unequal. Okay, A cross B and B cross A they are not same. Why the reason is because x comma y is an ordered pair. And what does 
ऑर्डर्ड पेयर मीन्स ऑर्डर्ड पेयर मीन्स स्कूल में इन द स्कूल वाइल प्लॉटिंग पॉइंट ऑन द कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सेस कार्टेशन प्लेन वी हैव स्टडीड द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑर्डर्ड एक्ट दैट इज ऑर्डर्ड पेयर मीन्स वन कॉमा पी दिस ऑर्डर्ड पेयर एंड पी कॉमा वन दिस ऑर्डर्ड पेयर दे आर नॉट इक्वल is that clear so this observation you should keep in mind okay so a cross b is not equal to b cross a and write this just for safety purpose in general sometimes they may be equal How sometimes they may be equal if a equal to b means that's a trivial case. If a equal to b, then a cross b and b cross a they are ultimately the same. Okay. So now let's say if I give you some questions regarding this only. This is a cross b and b cross a. Now on the similar lines, Cartesian product is this clear? Let's consider one more example. Let P is equals to set of P and N. Okay. Can you see that P? first you should write what the set p will actually look like so this part i will not explain i will directly write the answer for p p will be equal to 2 into 1 n takes the value 1 2 3 and is a natural number n takes the value 1 2 3 so p the elements will be 2 into 1 2 2, 2 into 2 that is 4 2 multiplied by 3 that will be 6 this comes from the set theory okay q will be equal to how q will look like x Is a natural number and x less than four, so x equal to one two three. X equal to one two three. X is equal to one. B one is three plus one four. If x is equal to two, b two is six plus one seven. If x is equal to three, ten. So now p cross q. Take all the possible ordered pairs. So if you take all possible ordered pairs, the first element. first element will belong to p and the second element will belong to q so 2 if we first finish all the pairings with 2 only 2 will get paired with 4 2 will get paired with 7 this is second element 2 will get paired with 10 this is one more element 4 will get paired up with 4 this second element 4 of the first set this four second element of the first set Four of will get paired up with four. Four will get paired up with seven. Four will get paired up with ten. After that, six will get paired up with four. Six will get paired up with seven, and six will get paired up with ten. So these are the total elements. Of p cross q, okay. So uh, this is and similarly q cross p you can write. Shall I leave q cross p to yourself? Okay, I will not write, write q cross p. I think you can. How many of you got p cross q equal to correct? P cross Q. How many got correct? Only one. Har hi nahi. Okay. No, Sanati, you raised your hand. Uh, do you have any doubt? No, sir. It's actually for the question you asked. Okay. 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 Moving ahead. Now, just a general question. So uh, here, can you see n of p cross q? Can you see that n of p cross q? Sir, what is n of p cross q? Revise your set theory. This will be equal to nine. N means cardinality, order. 
order of p cross q also you can say cardinality also you can say and written as n of p cross q this is equal to 9 other notation for this is sir p cross q is a set only single set n of p cross q can also be written as in terms of modulus sign in terms of modulus it is means if you referring to numbers call this operation modulus like mod of minus 5 But in terms of set, don't read it, read it as mod of p cross q. That is meaningless. Mod of p cross q is meaningless. Notation is same, but you should read it as cardinality of p cross q. Okay. So now for the next question. A is equals to let's say one, three, four, five, and P is equals to P four seven. The options are. first option is 4 multiplied by 3 second option is 4 raised to 3 third option is 3 raised to 4 fourth option is 3 plus 4 fifth option is nota none of these none of the above take your time think but it should be correct in one attempt only Harini, U S correct. Sanat, yes, correct. Sanat, now. What happened to Dhananjay? Dhananjay nowadays is not replying only. He has exams going on. So why in the class? At least at that time we should concentrate. Huh? Class at least response. Yes, correct. Pujita, option A. Okay. So the logic is very simple. If I A cross B, if I want to write A A cross B, if I take any one element from any element, let's say consider one. So I will have to pair up one with all pos all the elements of B. So one will get paired up with three. One will get paired up with four. One will get paired up with seven. So single element of A, one single element of A gets paired up with three elements of B. Another element of A, another element of A. If I take that, will also get paired up with three and the other all the elements of B that will. It will get paired up with three. It will get paired up with four. It will get paired up with seven. And then four, four will get paired up with three, four, seven. And then five will get paired up with three, four, seven. So the simple unitary method. What is the unitary method? If single element get gets paired up with three elements, how many with how many elements? Four elements will get paired up. One element corresponds to three elements, so four elements correspond to four into three. That is twelve elements. So four multiplied by three will be my answer. Is that clear? So if I write now this statement, its statement, if
a and b are two non empty sets such that cardinality of a is equals to p and cardinality of b is equals to q then cardinality of a cross b either you say a cross b or you say b cross a actually these are completely different sets remember this okay a cross b is a completely different set b cross a is a completely different set but though even though the two sets are different both will have the same cardinality and what cardinality they will have they will have cardinality as pq pq is just two in p is an integer q is an integer so it is just the multiplication of two integers does this result make sense to everyone yes sir yes sir okay now moving uh, so one question A is equals to one two. B is equals to one two three four. And C is equals to five six. The original set is same. Simply write yes no yes no in the chat box. What do you think? Are any you US correct? Others, Makran um, wrong. Think again. Tujita wrong. Think again. Now, so after the first attempt is wrong, second will also will definitely be right only because only two options are there in this of this. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. But make sure you understood that your second answer is right. Means why do you have to change the second answer? Okay. Others, Sanat, Dhananjay, and all those other Keshav, Nitin. You see R R three. You can see that R three is definitely not a relation from A to B. To check whether R three is a relation from A to B, what we'll have to check where well, we'll have to check whether R three is a subset of A cross B. So how elements of A cross B are looking like? Elements of A cross B. If you see A cross B, the elements look like something like this. The first In the ordered pair, in the ordered pair, the first element is of A, and the second is of B. So one comma five is an element of A. One comma six is an element. I'm oh, sorry, is an element of A cross B. A cross B one comma six, two comma five, two comma six, and so on. Two comma five, two comma six, three comma five, three comma six. I will not write the complete set now. You can finish that in Excel. Okay. 
Now here five comma one and one comma five. Five comma one. Five comma one and one comma five. They are definitely not equal. May keep this in mind because from the first thing only during the definition I told that this is an ordered pair. So five comma one and one comma five they are unequal things. So because they are unequal, we see that five comma one does not belongs to five comma one an element of R three. Five comma one an element of R three does not belongs to A cross B. Does not belongs to A cross B. So R three is not a subset of A cross B. R three is not a subset, so R three is not a relation from A to B. R three is not a relation. Now here on the second question, if I just write whether R three. Is relation from B to A. R three is relation from B to A. Now, what about this question? First one we saw that R three is relation from A to B. No. Now, whether R three is relation from B to A? Can you see that this answer is yes? Everyone very quickly. Yes, sir. Now we have to check that R three is a subset of B cross A. To answer the second question, we will have to check R three is a relation. R three is a subset of B cross A, and this is true. This statement is true. So the second is a correct statement. Okay. Now fourth. R four is equals to this whatever I have written. Quickly, yes, no, yes, no in the chat box. Mujit are wrong. So can you repeat the question once? See R. What I have written? Whether R four A to B means what is the meaning of this statement? Whether R four is the relation from A to B. The second part is only whether R four is the relation from B to A. No, so the values for R four. R four. I have written this. Question is means question is self-explanatory. You should not have uh, doubts with the symbols. So means so what? So what is the meaning? What I have written means I purposely did not read the question. I am not reading it because I want you to. I want to see whether you remember how much of the set theory. Hari ni. Sanat Dhananjay, Keshiv, come on! You never answer in the class. Now it's been almost. I think it's almost one month when since we have joined. Now you should have covered up the previous classes that you missed. Okay. Everybody's answer is wrong. 
first one is also a relation second one is also a relation what so come to the basics when i am asking whether r4 is a relation from a to b what do stick to the definition stick to the basics what is that a is given to you b is given to you what do we have to check to to answer to answer to answer better r4 is relation from set a to set b what do i have to do i only have to check whether r4 is a subset of a cross b or not yes or no what is r4 sir r4 jo hai r4 is actually an empty set null set null set empty set okay call it null set call it empty set r4 is actually phi and do you know that this statement phi is a subset of every set phi is a subset of every set in set 3 i have told you this thing koi bhi set hai any set phi is definitely a subset of that set so r4 r4 is a subset of a cross b a cross b definitely you can calculate it will come some set some set empty set will be a subset of that and r4 will also be a subset of b cross a empty set whatever b cross a is so can you see now this both the things r4 is a relation lies r4 is a relation from a to b and this implies r4 is a relation from b to a correct is the explanation clear phi is a subset empty set is a subset of every set this statement do you remember from set theory yes sir okay now moving ahead now this is called as empty and void relation this kind of relation is called as a void void means empty void relation okay so now these some these are the some types of examples that we saw the representation of a relation uh, uh let's say let's solve some questions
this question is given to you. In the chat box, simply write n of r1, this part, n of r1, n of r2, n of r3. If the value of that answer is correct, that answer is correct, then I will understand that you have solved the question correctly. Either you should answer the exact value or at least done or exp some response. If you're unable to solve at least write exp in the chat box. Yes, correct Harini. First one is correct. The word that you have written is wrong for the second one. Still wrong. Send you the answer. Sanat, you have written the set, but that is not the answer. I'm purposely not reading you the question. What you have found out, Sanat, that is correct. It means that is correct, but that is not the answer that is required. N open bracket R subscript one close bracket. What does this stand for? Hmm. C.
how a will look like a is the set of all two ends n where is n is a natural number from 1 to 5 n is a natural number less than or equal to 5 so n equal to 1 to 3 4 5 5 but a is not the set of n a is a set of 2n so 2 into 1 2 into 2, 2 into 3, 2 into 4, 2 into 5. This is my set A, and my set B is all the natural numbers less than or equal to 15. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, dot 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 up to 14 and 15. Okay. Now R1. If I talk about R1, R1 is what he's telling you. The ordered pair x comma y. Okay, ordered pair R one is a set of ordered pair. What is telling? Addition of the two elements should be nine. The addition of the two numbers is nine, and the first number in the ordered pair first element take from A, and the second element take from set B. Here, first element take from set A, and the second element is telling you to take from set B, and take such elements that their addition is equals to nine. If I want the addition is equals to nine, can I see that R one will be equal to? Can I? If I take two suppose from the first element, from the first set, sorry, from the first set A, if I take two x equal to two, can I see that my y will automatically be equal to nine? Uh, sorry, seven, because the addition is equals to nine, two comma seven. Okay, the first element if Another element from the first set, if I take equal to four, the second element it will automatically be equal to five, four comma five. First set, first element six, three six will get paired up with three, eight will get paired up with one. If you want, so ten also can be paired up with minus one. Then the condition will be violated because minus one the second element y. He has given us the condition that y should be from the second set. Here minus one is not an element in the second set. Second set में minus one present ही नहीं है. So I cannot write this element. So this will be my set R one. So what does this n of R one stands for? N of R one stands for cardinality. Number of elements. N of R one. It is actually cardinality of R one. Don't read it as mod of R one. Read it as cardinality of R one. Cardinality of R one equal to number of elements, and this number of elements is equals to four. This complete is single element. This is single element. This is single element. This is single element. Okay. Second R two x plus y is equals to one. R two x plus y is equals to one. So observe that R two is an empty set. No element I can find. No two natural numbers. A is also set of natural numbers. B is also a subset of natural. And addition, addition of two natural numbers equals to one. Not possible only. So can you see that R two is equal to an empty set? Cardinality of R two. Cardinality of R two will be zero. Now think for R three and write what will be cardinality of R three. Two minutes time. Okay.
Are you getting the third one? Cardinality of R3. Use unitary method. Simply use unitary method. If you think you will find the exact elements of R3, you will write all the elements and then you will find it will be a very tedious process because R3, the number of elements, the cardinal is a big number. It's greater than 10. It's not feasible to write all the elements, all the order. No, my friend wrong. Sanath wrong, Pujita wrong. Pujita, you're close to the answer, but wrong. It's a double digit number, greater than 10. Yes, very good, Makran. Now you have written it correct. Makran got it correct. The answer is 35. And 35 how? 5 multiplied by 7. Think now. The answer is 5 into 7 means 35. Yes, sir. Now I got it, sir. One number I missed it, sir. Your method approach is not proper, na no? You are getting one met, one number you missed it means you actually written all the set, all the elements, and then you counted. That is not the proper yes, line sir. of thinking. The thought process is wrong. Okay, see the explanation. Now here he is telling you that x plus 3y should be even number. He has not given any condition what this even number should be. It can be anything. It can be 2 also. It can be 10 also. It can be 100 also. It can be 1000 also. I don't have any condition. I just that this addition is an even number. So now x plus 3y. The first element is x belongs to a, y belongs to b. So now if you go on approaching by the standard process, it means if you just not standard approach, if you go, okay, sir, let's solve one by one. So if you go by the verification method, that is trial and error method. So check for X is equal to two. Can I take X equal to two and can I pair it up with, let's say Y, Y is equal to from one to three for 15. No, Y is very from one to 15. So, sir, can I very pair it up with one? Let's check. So what we will check. We will check, sir, x plus 3y. x plus 3y will be equal to, that is 2 plus 3 into 1. So the answer is 5. So this is not our required answer. That is odd. So we are not interested in the odd value. So cut off. 2 comma 1 will not, is not, we are interested in. x equal to 2, y equal to 2. Check x plus 3y, it will come 2 plus 3 into 2. And this comes out to be 8. So yes, this is the value that we are interested in. So 2 comma 2 will be one pair. 2 comma 2 will be one pair. So check for x is equals to 2, y is equals to 3. If you go on like this, 
two plus three multiplied by three. So this comes out to be three three is a nine nine two is a eleven. So this value we are not interested in. So two comma three we are not interested in two comma three. So this will be such a tiresome process because x equal to two. You will have to check with y equal to one to three four five up to fifteen. X equal to four. You will have to check with y equal to one to fifteen. X equal to three. Y or x equal to six. Y varies from one to fifteen. Such very uh, such combinations. It's a very large, 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 large many combinations are there. So to verify all of them, it's not time. It's very time consuming. So we should have a proper thought process. Now see, x plus three y is equals to even. What is my requirement? This is my requirement that x plus three y. Is equal to an even number. Observe that x itself is an even number. Observe that x can only take even values. The set A that I have given you is such that it is un consists of only even numbers. The so set A x is only even. So what do I want my three? If I take any value of x, the corresponding three y three y will be even number minus x. So can I say that my three y will be an even number because even subtraction even x is an even even minus even is even only and when can three y be even? This implies that y it has to be an even number. Check for yourself. Three into y can be even only if y is even. If y is odd, then the story fails. So y has to be even. Is so what is the condition that if you want x plus three y to be even, take y to be equal to even number. So now, once you get this result, you can take x is equals to two and y is equals to any even number. You can take x is equals to four, y equal to any even number, x is equals to six, eight, ten, and so on. So how many two can get paired up with how many y's? Two can get paired up with from y equal to any even number. What is the range of um? What is the uh, from where to where y is varying? Y is varying from one to fifteen. So how many even numbers occur in this much range? From seven. one to fifteen, seven. So seven even numbers are there. So two can get paired up with seven different even numbers. Any even number that is seven different even numbers. So two gets paired up. Means one single x, one single gets paired up with seven. So how many x's are there? Five different x's are there. So total x comma y, x comma y total. Five into seven pairs is equals to thirty-five pairs. Is it clear? The explanation. So the cardinality of R three, cardinality of R three is equals to thirty five. Is this clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, representation of a relation. Actually, the representation part I should have taught first. But now you have got an idea of what this formula that I have written, this formula means. So this formula is called as a set builder form uh, of the relation. And in the sets also we have seen the set builder form in a relation. Representation of relation. So first is the roster form. So what is the roster form? The roster form is actually the listing form. All the the elements of the relation are listed. The elements. Of relation are listed one by one. This representation exactly same. The representation of relations, representation of sets, exactly same. No difference. 
so roster form so roster form example if i give you let's say a is equal to 1 comma 2 and b is equals to simple p only singleton set p so a cross b a cross b consider 1 comma p 2 comma p that's it okay so this is a roster form of for example consider pqr pqr so r1 is equals to 1 comma p 2 comma p and let's say 2 comma r this is one relation this is a roster form means the elements are actually listed second is the set builder form elements of relation are given are represented by a formula are represented by a formula so let's say if a is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 and b is equals to set of all x such that x is less than 10 and x belongs to natural numbers and consider this relation let's say r1 is equals to now here the, i will represent the relation by formula let's say set of all x comma y such that x plus y or uh, let's say x minus y is equals to 1 where x belongs to the first set y belongs to the b b set so this kind of formula that i have written this is the set builder form okay this question i have already given you earlier here we have already practiced this question this set builder form how to picturize a set builder form in a roster form you should be able to convert this set builder form into a roster form you should be able to see those elements how they actually look like okay so this is the set builder form now in relations there is a one very new method one another method which is not there in sets in relations there is another called as arrow diagrams and this arrow diagrams are very useful okay how the arrow diagrams works for example let's say set a arrow diagrams means the ordered pairs the ordered pairs the elements in first set and the elements in second set they will be connected by actual arrows for example consider a is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 and was to 2 4 6 8 that's it. 2 4 6 8 and consider okay so now r1 consider this arrow diagram this is my set a this is my set b set a the points i will represent it by i will represent the elements i will represent by points in set a so this is my one two three four five and b also the points i will represent it by the elements will be represented by points in set b and now i connect some pairs the ordered pairs is there no so the pairing i will do by arrows i will represent by them by arrows let's say this is one arrow one is also over here let's see three comes over here and let's say four also comes over here so what kind of relation is this and let's say this is my relation r1 
so this is my arrow diagram okay this is my arrow diagram of relation r1 if i tell you to write this relation in roster form what this actually relation looks like how the elements of this relation look looks like so you will say that sir r1 is actually what r1 is actually one is getting paired up with four so one is getting paired up with four this is single element one is also getting paired up with eight one is also getting paired up with eight this is another element three is getting paired up with six three is getting paired up with six and five is also getting paired up with six so this is the roster form of this arrow diagram okay is the arrow diagrams clear in arrow diagrams you actually draw uh, you connect the points by the arrows so r1 is the relation from a to b okay so the, if i just tell you this will be the set builder form this is the set builder form and the same r1 if i tell you to write in roster form if i tell you to write and find the r1 in roster form how it will be written in roster form can you pictureize this statement <laughs> so r1 in this case in roster form it will be x minus y equal to 1 here x minus y equal to 1 the first element of, of set a One and here one will not get paired up with anything. Two will get paired up with one. Three will get paired up with two. Four will get paired up with three, and five will get paired up with four. This will be the roster form of the above set builder form. Are the three representations clear? okay everyone yes sir no okay. so this is the representation of the relation we present the following relations in roster form
Write in the chat box done when you have finished solving. Is it over Dhananjay Pujita Makran? Yes, sir. Okay. So I think only two or three elements will be there. A will look something like this. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. This will be my A. And B will look like two, four, Six, eight. That's it. Now to take the elements, first element from A and second element from B and R1, the difference is one. So you can see that R1 will be three will get paired up with two. Six has to get paired up with five, but five is not present in B. Nine has to get paired up with eight. Okay, so that is there. Twelve should get paired up with eleven, but that is absent, and fourteen should get paired up with fourteen, but that is also not there in B. So that's it. R one in roster form will be only these two elements. So cardinality of R one is equal to. So today we'll stop over here. In the next class, we will do some questions over this, and we'll start with probably functions. No, some domain codomain part is left, and after that, we'll start with functions. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you, everyone.